Hello YouTubers, I'm back with part 2 of part 1 of the previous video um, of how to downgrade your iDevice to iOS 5.0.1 uh, For this you will need iTunes, duh, you should already have that You will need the SHSH blobs we got from part 1 You will need the software, iOS software firmware for iOS 5.0.1 and you will just need a little bit of brains to do this so let's get started. First, you want to get your SHSH blobs from your email. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do this because you should already know. So, on your iPhone or iDevice, well, on your computer, go to your email and download the SHSH file to your computer. Once you do that, save it in a place where you know it is and then open up iFaith. That link will be in the description and download it. Once an IFA, this will pop up. Just click OK. Click Build Sign IPSW with Blobs. Browse for SHSH Blobs. Find it. I have them right here. It's going to think for a minute. And then this is the part where you need to download the iOS 5.0.1 firmware because it's going to ask for it in a moment. Should only take about a second or two. Okay, now once it's loaded up, you browse for the iOS 5.1 IPSW, which is going to be in the description. Open it, and it's going to verify. Right now I'm taking it off my case because you're going to put it into Pond DFU mode and it's hard to do it with my case on my iPod. Touch. Keep in mind this is the first time I did this so if something goes wrong just bear with me. So it's going to verify it and welcome to IFA. Very simple things. So it's going to come up with that and it's going to build the IPSW. Um, this usually takes a while, so I'm going to pause it and when it's done, I'll come back to the video. Okay, I'm back and it is done building it. So go ahead and press the proceed button and power off your iDevice. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Um, it is booting off. So I guess we just wait until it's off. Okay, now it's off. So we go ahead and press start. Prepare to press home. Okay. So press and hold to release the uh, sleep button. I keep holding the home and it should boot up in a DFU or pond DFU mode and look like that. It'll just be blank. Do not, and I repeat, do not take it out from the charger. You could mess it up. So now close iFaith and open up iTunes. I suggest backing up your device before you put your stuff into pond DFU mode or probably should torch it already. But yes. You can just run iFaith again and then put it back in the pond if you want. iTunes. No, where did it save that? Okay, and it should save the uh, firmware file, signed firmware file, on your desktop. So, to put to downgrade your iPod back to 5.0.1, Shift Restore or 
option restore alt whatever it is on the Mac and then look for it and mine is on the desktop that's where I faith puts it default so go ahead and find it click open and it's going to extract and you're probably being restored this is what is happening right now nothing I don't think it's going to go ahead and extract so I'll go ahead and pause it and I'll come back to this when it's done okay so it's done extracting it so now it's preparing for iPod store and no errors which I'm surprised because a lot of people complain that they got errors so this is my first time doing it so now it's restoring it has the Apple logo and if I'm not mistaken it turns into the iFaith logo in a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and hold it up right there Yep, now it's the iFaith logo. So this means it's working if you got this far. So if you got this far, you are successfully downgrading your iPhone or iPod Touch or iPad. So yes, that's pretty awesome, huh? And you probably didn't even think you could do it because you did not know you had the SS SHSH files. A lot of people do not know that they have it. So it's going to repair it from the store. And iFaith is restoring it right here. It's cases like I didn't unplug it, so my case is hooked to it. Right, so our faith is restoring, and I'll come back when this is done. Um, so okay, it's almost done. So this will not take this quick. I'm pausing the video and coming back to it. So if you think this is taking long on yours, don't worry. It's no more. I'm just pausing it. So almost done on my iPod. Uh, excuse me, the background noise. Huh. If I'm iPod restore, I'm just gonna hold this up. The bar is pretty full, so it's almost done. And it is done. Your iPod has been restored to factory settings and it's restoring. So I have now successfully downgraded my iPod from 5.1 to 5.0.1, as you just saw. Pretty awesome, right? So, proof, I will wait for it to boot up. There it is, booting up. And I'll have the proof in a minute when it boots up. Um, I had proof on the previous video that it was 5.1 because it said it in Cydia. So, I'll come back when my iPod boots up. My iPod is here. And it is now hooked up. Oh, it is iOS 5.1. I'm going to go ahead and set all this up. I'm going to pause it and set it up. My iPod is successfully in iOS 5.0.1. I will go to settings and prove it. So going to general. About. And version 5.0.1. It works. You probably be able to see it. So. Um, thank you for watching you should be able to find a video on how to jump like iOS 5.0.1 untethered um I'm sure you are happy with the results that it actually worked a lot of people are surprised when they find out that they actually had the SH, SH blob saved and they're really happy when they can fix it um I suggest upgrading to 5.1 when the untethered jailbreak comes out for it but it's up to you but uh yeah so comment rate and subscribe and if you need any videos made for you, just comment on that too. I'd be happy to make them for you. Any video you want. Anyways, well, I'll see you and... Well, that's it. Have a great day. And be sure to check up and subscribe. Check with me for more videos because I love making awesome videos for my awesome YouTube fans. 
Um, no negative comments. Um, so that's about it. Thanks for watching, 